Y'all, football is back. The Denver Broncos play their first preseason game on Saturday. I'm Allie Monroy, and I'm breaking down everything you need to know on the Brick Brew Sports Report. The Broncos take on the Minnesota Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium on Saturday with a 2 p.m. kickoff. We all know there's a quarterback competition brewing here in Denver between Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. And to this point, neither guy has really taken the reins, but head coach Vic Fangio did let the media know that Locke will get the first reps of the game as the starting quarterback. Fangio said that since Locke has been in Denver longer, he felt it was only right that he gets the first snap of preseason. If you think that's any indication on who Fangio wants at QB though, don't bet on it. The team is keeping this even and said Teddy Bridgewater will get the start in the second preseason game against the Seattle Seahawks. I know most fans would rather they just pick a starting QB and stick to it and I totally agree with you, but it's just not looking like that will be the case anytime soon. So. If you want to put some money down on who you think will lead the team out of the tunnel for the start of the regular season, DraftKings Sportsbook has odds on Locke, Bridgewater, or even any other QB. So go check that out now. Moving on to some injury news, running back Mike Boone and starting guard Dalton Reisner were both injured during practice on Thursday. Reisner suffered a knee injury and did not participate in team period drills late in practice. He did tell the media though that he is okay. He tweaked his knee that caused momentary discomfort, but it came around quickly. Boone on the other hand had to be carted to the locker room due to a quad injury. Reports are now saying that he is expected to miss four to six weeks, but the good news there is he won't need surgery. As always, our DMVR Broncos guys will be going live after the first preseason game on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. And as always, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.